one of the biggest concern for most of the parent is my baby is not eating well or my baby is not eating at all hello mommies and daddies welcome back to my channel mom and baby if you haven't subscribed our channel yet and if you are new here i would like to request you to subscribe our channel and join our mom and baby family in this video i'm going to share with you my personal experience and tips that has helped us in the journey of introduction and integration of solid food to our baby who is 16 month old now so without further ado let's get started this video will help to the parents whose child is getting ready for solid or has already started solid food but is not eating too well or is not eating at all then you can also implement the following tips and tricks that will not only encourage your child to eat but also become a happy eater from now on because i believe it's not too late to start any good thing so let's see the tips now meal time or establish the feeding routine ensure you stick with the meal time routine as any changes in timing can cause excessive hunger or loss of appetite therefore never skip your baby's meal time a routine can help your child to recognize the process and adapt to it over the period of time therefore establish a feeding routine to your child from day 1 and make sure you use all sorts of feeding equipment such as high chair plate fork spoon bibs or whatever you use to feed your baby on the basis of your child's age this will help your child to understand the feeding process or the food timing too much fluid feeding your baby with too much fluid can be the reason why he or she is refusing the solid food the fluid can be in the form of juice breast milk or formula milk or even the water if you feed your baby too much of fluid just before you feed the solid food then your baby will refuse the solid food because your baby is not hungry therefore try not to give too much of fluid to your baby just before the meal time at or just wait at least 1 hour to 1 hour 30 minutes you before you give the meal time as baby's appetite vary from meal to meal and from day to day your baby's activity your baby's appetite will depend upon how active he or she is ensure there are enough activities that are done in appropriate interval of time throughout the day an active baby tend to eat well while the less active baby will refuse the food so whatever you are offering your baby as a snack try to use some light snack such as slices of fruits or yogurts or juice or something that are easy to digest and have lots of nutrients in that way you don't need to worry that my baby has not eaten the fruits at all if you introduce fruits as a snack to your baby in that way you are covering all sorts of fruits in the snack so your baby is getting all sorts of benefits from the fruits as well your baby is on well just as we do baby loses his or her appetite when he or she is feeling a bit of on well or off color for example if your baby is having teething or cold or sore throat or anything like that your baby will tend to refuse the food your baby is too tired sometimes there is not a grand reason why your baby doesn't like to eat food as simply your baby may be overtired and rather than having food he or she wants to sleep therefore if you try to feed your baby before the nap time or uh, bed time your baby will be uninterested for the food for this reason make sure whenever you are offering solid food to your baby they are uh, they have had a good nap 
and they are fully allowed so that they can enjoy the food. Allow your baby to be independent. When your baby is old enough, allow your baby to feed the food by himself or herself and avoid force feeding. You can also introduce some finger food. Ensure your baby can hold the finger food and feed himself or herself independently. In that way, you can encourage your child to eat food. Eat together as a family. You are your baby's first model and as such, they are constantly learning from you. Watching you enjoy your meal may make your baby more willing to eat the food on their own. Therefore, always try to eat as a family. Get messy. Allowing your little one to smash, smell or squeeze the food will make a mess. But it may satisfy their curiosity and make them feel more comfortable while eating. So let them make a mess. Give sample. Whenever you are introducing any new food to your baby, try to give a small piece of food to your baby so that they can learn the taste. This introduces the taste of food that is more manageable for your baby. The right time to introduce the solid food. The general guidelines to introduce solid food to the babies is at around the age of six months. However, there are some parents who want to introduce solid food at around four months and there are some parents who want to delay the process at around seven to eight months. It is not good to introduce solid food to the babies at around four months as your baby is not fully developed for the solid and if you are too late, you might miss the bus so that your baby may not be interested in the food. I have already done the videos for the signs that shows that your baby is ready to have the solid food and the diet chart as well. So if you are interested, I will leave the link in the description box below. So don't forget to check that one out. If you see that sort of sign in your baby at around five and a half month or six month or six and a half month or seven month, then try to grab this opportunity because this is the right time to introduce the solid food to your baby. Avoid distractions like phone, TV and so on. Toys, music, people, noise and screens are the major baby's distraction. Allow your baby to fully concentrate on their food. Therefore, try to avoid this sort of distraction like turning of TV or radio or anything else or you can even take your baby in a quiet place to feed your baby that you will feed on a regular basis. I have seen some of the parents that, oh my baby doesn't eat until and unless I turn on the TV. Honestly to say, this is your choice. This is the right that we as a parent have, whether to use the TV throughout the uh, life of the baby or not. So instead of introducing TV or mobile phone while feeding your baby, try to make them engage within yourself and the food. Like you can talk with your baby, make your baby laugh. You can let the baby know what your baby is having at that time. Or even you can read the books as well so that you can uh, grab this opportunity to use in a dual purpose. You are teaching your baby and you are feeding your baby at the same time. Therefore, try to make the food time as a fun time. You can even call it as a party time for your baby where you can smile and you can even clap to encourage your little one to eat more. You can even talk to your baby, make your baby laugh so that you are dragging your baby's attention towards the food and you can also establish the bonding relationship between you and your baby during the food time. Too much pressure. Never put pressure on your baby to eat or force your baby for extra mouthful. It will probably make the mealtime more difficult and even make it stressful for both of you. It could even make your baby off from some food completely. 
therefore try to make meal time more relaxed avoid meal time to be too long that may make your baby feel bored and restless as a result your baby may not enjoy the food properly not only for the meal that you are giving even for the upcoming meal as well choose food wisely offer wide variety of healthy food to your baby try to be creative with whatever you cook for your baby experiment with the colorful fruits and vegetables as children are attracted to the colorful and they tend to eat well if they see some attractive colors of the food also always try to keep a backup plan for your baby Sometimes your baby may not eat the food that you have prepared for your baby because of teething or something like that. Uh, if your baby is teething, your baby just want to swallow the food rather than chew. Or sometimes your baby wants to chew the food rather than swallow. So having a bag of food will help you to feed your baby properly. You don't need to waste the bag of food. You can have that bag of food between you and your husband or or the rest of the family member. As I always keep the bag of food for my baby. When trying to figure out how to feed your baby who don't want to eat, let your baby to use their sense of smell. Put the spoon of the food next to your baby's nose and let them smell first. before you put the spoon into your baby's mouth so in that way they are aware of the smell and you never know baby might like the smell and can have the food other reason your baby may be refusing food because he or she doesn't like the taste or the texture of the food or even the food may be too cold or too hot so keep on eye on that one as well baby's eating problem can be because of different reasons such as your baby is tired your baby is feeling stressed or even teething problem but as long as your baby's weight and health are good there is no need for concern this is vital step for your child for learning growth and independence if you are worried about your baby's loss of appetite or decrease in weight or your baby is not active as he or she used to be before then it is always better to speak with your doctor and get some help my golden tips for you all today is never give up be persistent and have patience i know it's easy to say and it's hard to do but Trust me if you are persistent if you keep on uh, doing the same thing again and again your baby will be used to of doing that one and will definitely get back to the routine and your baby will enjoy the food one day you just have to have some patience just imagine if you have to do anything new thing let's say you have to give some exams or run for a marathon you do try to practice quite a lot of time then only you sit for your exam similarly food is a completely different world for your baby let them enjoy it as they have to eat the food throughout their life so have some passion and persistence on what you are doing because you are giving the life coaching to your baby here in terms of the food I hope you find this video useful. If you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, comment and let me know in the comment section below how is your experience going on with the given tips and tricks and please try to share this video as much as you can because I believe sharing is caring. And also please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon below so that you will be the first person to be notified whenever we upload any of the new videos that will encourage us to do the more of the videos just for you guys until we meet in our next video take care and bye